Hey, Hickok 45 here. I get a lot of requests to do uh, field stripping of the 1911. So I brought out the uh, World War I replica of 1911 and thought I'd use it to show you how I field strip the 1911. All right. I might do it a little differently, but uh, this is how I do it. First thing is I want to, of course, make sure the gun's unloaded. So I take the magazine out and back to slide. Looks clean, looks empty, no bullets in it. Never be too safe. Never be too safe. Then I put the safety on, speaking of that, just so I can lock the slide, uh, you know, so it's not, not moving on me. Because I want to turn the gun up on the hammer, basically, and I want to release the pressure on the mainspring. That's my first step. So get it there where I can push the plunger tube and turn the barrel bushing at the same time until it's free. So I'm pushing on the mainspring, the barrel bushing, and or the, uh, the plunger tube with a lot of pressure. The spring is pretty tight. Uh, so there we go. I release the pressure on that. And now the slide is pretty free. You can see how that, that looks there. Okay. So slide will move freely. So I'm going to turn it around and take the safety off. Next step is what I need to do is get the slide back in a position where I can line up the, ah, there we go, the slide lock with the little groove cut there in the slide. All right. Oops, I'm sorry. I moved it back too far. Uh, it's just a little bitty. I'm trying to watch the monitor so I can give you a good look at this. It's a little bitty cutout right there. And once you have that lined up, you're going to go around to the other side of the gun or reach over here and push on it. You know what I'm pushing on, but I'll show you just to make sure you know, there's the other side of it. Okay, so I want to push it out. And if I have it lined up right, it will start to come right out. And then I can just pull it out. All right. And yeah, take that away. Now everything's free. The slide is free. It's going to move freely. They're right off the frame. Okay. And there we have it. Now the rest of it comes apart pretty simply. I can just take the mainspring out, the uh, uh, guide tube, the guide rod rather, and then I can take off the barrel bushing. It has a little notch in it where you have to just kind of turn it around. You'll see if you haven't had one apart before. And then the barrel, unlike a Glock, it needs to come out through the front of the slide. Okay, And there you have it. The gun is field stripped. All of its component parts, so if I were going to clean it, needed to clean it, that's as far down as I really need to take it apart in general cleaning. So not too hard, not quite as simple as a Glock, but not that bad. So if I want to put it back together, I, I use the same procedure. Take the slide, put the barrel back in, again from the front. Now this is the barrel link right here, this little doodad with a hole in it. I want to make sure that's down and I just push it back into the slide. Put it barrel in place. Slide barrel link down. Okay, you can see that. Now I, uh, I can put the uh, barrel bushing back on if I want to at this point. It still moves freely, it's not a problem, no pressure on it, no spring in there yet. Then I take the main spring the guide rod put it in there. Now the uh, curved parts on top, it's pretty simple. You can see the bottom is cut out and contoured with the barrel, so it'll slide over the barrel. No trouble. It's not a, not a problem to see how that, how that goes. The barrel link I showed you is free floating. It should be down. Okay, that's the way I do it. I make sure it's down with the guide rod against it. All right, and you can, you can see how that, that looks when I do it. Okay, the barrel, let me get my little pointer here. You can see that that, that link is down. Okay, because that hole needs to line up when we get this frame on there. Okay, so then I take the frame, usually put my thumb on the guide rod, get the frame lined up there, put it back on the, on the slide, and just push it forward. After that point, I turn it over. And make sure the barrel link, the little hole in the barrel link that this, this goes through is lined up with the hole you see there. And I can see that it pretty much is. Now, 
sometimes you look through there and it's not perfectly lined up so you can just put a pin through there or something and uh, you know just kind of line it up is what I do all right or you can move the slide around and occasionally I think maybe one time out of about uh, 10 breakdowns or 15 breakdowns field strippings I'll have a little bit of trouble lining it up and I'll have to you know jack around with the slide a little bit and maybe get a pin out or something but it's, it's usually not a big deal and then I just push that through there and then I line this back up like I did before take it back to the little notch in the same place so the little locking lever there is gonna gonna fit so now right here is where if you're not careful you will scratch your frame a lot of people do there's a uh, ugly scratch right there on a lot of 1911s where most people will push this all the way in. What you want to do is not have it all the way in. You want to bring it up here and then push it in when you get up to this point and you have to push a little pressure get that detente depressed and then not locks right in. It's a little bit tricky to get the hang of it if you've not broken one of these down before but not a problem. Okay, So then push the slide forward hammer's cocked. I'm going to put the safety on again just so I can lock the slide in place. Right. Then I'm almost finished. I've already put my barrel bushing on. Again, there's no pressure on it. And I'll put my plunger tube over the spring. Push it down. All the way. And swivel the barrel bushing around over it. And she snaps in place. And she should be ready to fire again. It feels as though it's working fine. I always put the magazine back in, see if it locks back. Everything seems functional. And of course, living here on my own range, I have no trouble. I can go out and try it, you know, make sure it's working if I need to, but uh, it seems fine. So that's how I feel strip a 1911 and, uh, and put it back together. I hope that's been useful to you. Y'all take care.